grace of God because I need it. Number one, brother Atiba, need the grace of God because it carries divine assignment. When you have the grace of God, there is an assignment. God can never give assignment to somebody that is lazy. There are some of you, you can sleep inside water. You say you have anointing to sleep. Why you God, God give somebody power and grace? Where you say you have anointing to sleep? Can't you see that that one is uh, unbelievable? Some of you, you say you have anointing to tell lies. Anointing to gossip. This God cannot give an assignment where you begin to commit iniquity and evil. Our Lord Jesus needed the grace of God to do everything he did. I pray for you today. The grace of God will look for you. Amen. Again, we need this grace of God because it's a gift that the Holy Spirit distributed according to grace. Let me tell you, most of you are not using the gift that God has given to you. That's why you are not getting more. You are crying on a daily basis. My colleagues are doing more than me. My peers are doing more than me. You begin to ask yourself, where are other uh, your, your uh, colleagues are having A in their, in their courses and you are managing to have C? You begin to ask yourself, do those who have double head or they have triple head or they have a macaroni head? No. And why again? Is that the grace of God makes somebody to be perfect? Hello, when you have the grace of God, you cannot commit error, it's not possible because it, that grace of God will propel you eh, not to commit error because you carry the Holy Ghost within you. Let me tell you if you say you are a child of God, you can't commit murder, if you say you are a child of God, you can't be doing kidnapping that they are doing today. If you say you are a child of God, you cannot be going into prostitution. If you say you are a child of God, you cannot be cheating in an exam. If you say you are a child of God, you must not begin to do things and exhibit some character that is not acceptable or tenable. That was a case this evening they were showing on the television. A friend borrowed a friend 30,000 naira. And the friend was asking back for his 30,000 naira. He now said, come back in the evening to come and collect your 30,000 naira. And as the friend was coming to collect the 30,000 naira, he put on the ignition of his car and overran the friend and killed the friend just this evening. Just this evening. He killed the man, his friend, because of 30,000 naira. It was trending this evening. You can see the evil of a man. If the person they use car to overrun has the grace of God, he will not come and ask for the money. It's because he does not carry the grace. If he carry the grace, God will tell him, leave the money. I am the owner of cattle, a thousand hill. I'm the owner. And he does not stop there. Today, today, so a group of people in New York State went and kidnapped some custom men because they were coming to the city. And in the process, the custom men to group came back to come and retaliate. In the process, they killed seven innocent people. Shoot seven innocent people that never even knew anything. That is the grace of God. People were laughing last week when they said somebody is working in the Pencom office and before you know it, trailer came from nowhere and overrun a two-story building and killed her inside the house. Can you explain that? Grace of God. It also establishes a person. It can turn illiterate to a literate person. We've seen several. He's treating a person very well. 
But what can hinder the grace of God not to stay in your life? Let me tell you. Sin can hinder you. Sin can hinder you. The grace of God. Not only sin, your action can frustrate the grace of God in your life. Some of you, you carry a forgiveness spirit, a forgiving spirit. Some of you carry bitterness against your parents. Some of you, you carry bitterness against your pastor. Pastor Atiba, my mommy said, we should tell you, we hate you. We hate you. What type of rubbish is this? What type of rubbish is this? I pray for you. May your race of humanity here on earth not take away your grace. Amen. Your grace can be traded away. May you never trade your own grace away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What again can hinder it? Waste can hinder it if you don't act wisely. Some of you, and I cry for some people, there are things you need to be doing with your youthful age. When you are in the age of 20, going to 25, before you are 30, there are some things you ought to have done. But now you are at the age of 60, you cannot even do it. You are now struggling to say you want to do what you are supposed to have done at the age of 25, 30 years. There are some of you, your parents spoke to you that time, you refused to listen. Now you also have to your own children. Your own children now are not giving you double wala. More than what you did to your parents. I pray for you. You will not be a wasted generation to God. Amen. That grace that God will give unto you, you will apply it wisely. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And this grace of God also can be abused. Some of you, you say you have anointing to commit rubbish. Why? Why do you want to abuse? You want to commit iniquity, you attach the name of God to the, that iniquity that is not supposed to be. I pray for you. You will not take the grace of God as a liberty to go to sinful acts in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you do not even study to know the word of God that you carry power. Like I told us, there are some family that they don't even know Jesus at all. And when you ask what is their name, they will say their name is Paul. Their name are Samuel. Their name are Ezekiel. Can you see? Ezekiel that do not even know whether you ask them where can you find Ezekiel in the Bible? You say, we find New Testament or Old Testament. Pastor, we find it in the New Testament. Confirmed, tested. That is it. Again, failure to ask God for that grace. Some of you, grace is by your side, but you don't even know that grace is by your side. You don't even know. I pray you'll be able to see grace. Amen. And I pray for you, you'll be able to know grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And one of the things is that ignorance can kill a believer. When you don't know, you don't know. There are most of the time you believe you are the one that is that know everything about everybody in the church or in your family. Before they talk, you say, I know. Before you talk, you say, I know. I will not want to teach you. When you say you know everything, there are situations that I know I can do, and I will do very well. But I will pretend I will want my children to do it on their own. I will say, okay, you know what? Go to the car. Go and pick this. Go and do that. Such that at the end of the day, you let, you let them. But there are some of us. The day your husband is not at home, you are as good, as useless as poo, poo There are some of us, if your wife travel to their hometown to go and greet their father maybe for one month or there's anything in fact that man will begin to eat biscuit in fact that man self to even make a tea is a problem because he does not even know where matches is in the house talk less to even know what to strike 
Because we ask him, the water you are boiling, how do you boil it? That is a father. A father that do not know how to cook. Or cook or cook rice or cook beans. Or din do do. The Lord will help you. Amen. May you be able to have a husband that will be able to cook. Amen. So that you can rest. You know your your daddy cannot cook. Brother Atiba cannot cook. Oh. Eh? And he's talking to people. When he knows, he said that he cannot cook. Eh? But I can tell you that uh, the Lord helped me. I'm able to know that one since uh, tender age. How do you now obtain this grace of God? Which I want you to obtain tonight. Number one, get saved. If you have got saved, you have it. Plug yourself into the socket of God. Acknowledge that you have a weakness. Not only uh, no, no, realize that you are powerless. And pray for God to bestow on you that grace. Do not suffer in silence. Some of you suffer in what? In silence. But ask God on a daily basis for a fresh grace. The grace of yesterday is not enough for today. Because if it is enough, how can a local government chairman uh, be carrying cocaine? It, uh, one of the local chairman in uh, Lagos carrying cocaine. You know, the disgrace it takes. At the level of local government chairman, there are allocated money that you can even chop, 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 chop without giving anybody. But when you now see greed, 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 what greed can do? I pray for you. May the Lord not allow you to run a race that you destroy your life Amen. and your family in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Bigger than every mountain, bigger than everything. This than any mountain that I cannot see. Oh, bigger, bigger. One more time. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Amen. Tonight, I say it's in brevity. I don't want to waste our time so that you can go and sleep because uh, God has been so good to us and I have a marriage to be... I'm going tomorrow, very early tomorrow morning. Pastor Ladokun, you know Pastor Ladokun, the first child and the first son. Tomorrow, I have to be there. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So, I want you to... Repeat after me. The way we did on Monday, it depends on whatever you want. Because I realized that at that time when we pray for us, you can still be murmuring and sleeping with your amen. You can be murmuring and sleeping with your amen. But you cannot murmur with whatever you want to say with your mouth now. So can we stand up so that your amen can be loud? I mean, you say after me clearly, and the Lord will answer your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you. 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 For every evil dedication. For every evil dedication. That have caged my life. That has caged my life. From tonight. From tonight. I am free. 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 For every evil authority. For every evil authority. That have caged my life. That have caged my life. And my destiny. And my destiny. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Everything. Everything. That have eaten. That have 
in my dream that are taking away my grace. I vomit them by fire. I vomit them by fire. Every grace that have eluded mercy for me. Back tonight. Back tonight. Back tonight. When there are evil powers blocking my opportunity, your grace, your grace will be available for me. Every environmental forces working against my life, you are destroyed tonight. You are destroyed tonight. I release, I release my life from every evil. From every evil. The, grace of God the grace of God will dispatch heavenly angels, dispatch heavenly angels and, take and take away every of my hostages. If there is any agenda, there is any agenda of charms, of chamas against my progress by your grace by your grace it will be scattered by fire Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. If, there are any evil garment, if there are any evil garment or invisible spirit, or invisible spirit observing my progress, observing my progress. Tonight, tonight, let your grace, let your grace work, for work for my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord. every writing of, of darkness making me to rise and fall ends tonight. Ends tonight. Ends tonight. Ends tonight. If there are costs caging my life, you are broken by the blood of Jesus. Every collect collectivity of captivity. Every collectivity of captivity. Waging war against my family. The blood of Jesus destroy you. The blood of Jesus judge you. And if there are any limitation. Injuring my, my life, not to excel, by the power of Jesus, I declare I will be a success. I will be a success. I will be a success. Never to be a failure. I release my life from every bondages. I will have testimony. <laughs> Shall testify, and it people will see it around me. All my, All my destiny helpers in the north, in the, north, in, the south, in the south, in the east, in the, east, in the, west, in the west, all over the world, over the world 360, degree, 360 degree, we look for me. We look for me. And, I and I declare from tonight, from tonight I, will egg, I will be the egg, never to be the tail. Be the tail. So, shall so shall it be. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus, merciful name. We have prayed. Amen. I will do the round of prayer now so that uh, we take our thanksgiving, we go and sleep. In brevity, everything should be about 42 minutes as against one hour. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So close your eyes. Let me pray for you. Ancient of this, we thank you for all the children all over the world. Thank you. Ancient of this, we ask for grace, sufficient grace, sufficient grace for everyone all over the world that are member of blessed generation. Let your grace be sufficient for each and every one of us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Daddy, I pray, whatever grace I've stolen and taken away from our life because we are disobedient, grace will return it back to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Evil voice looking for us evil voice speaking to us in our dream try to snatch away our life we see them no more from tonight in the name of Amen. jesus daddy we pray anytime we sleep grace will sleep with us Amen. anytime we wake up grace will be there for us Amen. anytime we go to office grace will accompany us Amen. anytime we are coming back home grace will be available for Amen. us and daddy we pray one by one one by one you know every family on this platform Lord, let your grace be sufficient for every of our family members in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not weep. Amen. We will not sorrow Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for Brother Atiba, the wife and the children. Daddy, let your abundant grace follow our family in the name of Amen. Jesus. 
where we least expect lord almighty let your grace speak for us in the name of jesus let your grace speak for every of our children wherever they are in the school or in overseas in the name of jesus and that we pray that by strength shall no man prevail daddy a brother tiba no arrow of the enemy will eat me we eat my wife we eat my children in the name of jesus Daddy, we will not walk and do this work and come back in shame in the name of Amen. Jesus. It shall be well with us Amen. and our tomorrow shall be all right. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Let's take our Thanksgiving system when you and sing for us. You are worthy. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life, and shall be in the hands of the Lord forever and ever. Good night.